All right, so this is number 21. Uh, it's on page 77, but we're supposed to start that homework assignment on page 76. So uh, this is the urban planning. The city wants to double the area of a rectangular playground. So you have a rectangular playground that is like so. One side of this playground is 72 feet. The other side is 48. And so you want, they want to double the size of this. The area right now is 3,456. If you multiply those two together, 72 times 48. Then if you go through and you want to double this area by adding the same amount of distance on this side and the same amount of distance on this side, you'll create a bigger playground by adding the same amount of distance here and the same amount of distance here. What distance is that? That's what you're trying to figure out. So if you're trying to figure out that distance there, on those two spots there, then you have to use an area formula. Area formula is length times width. Well, what is the length times the width? Well, the length is 72 plus this x. The width is 48 plus the x. And so you end up with this really beautiful, after you distribute this all together, this little beautiful formula of 72 times 48, which is 3,456. 72 times x, 48 times x, and then x times x, which is x squared. So you end up with x squared plus 120x plus the 3,456. Now, you could use this or you could use this to figure out what the maximum area could be by taking this and doing the vertex. Finding the two intercepts, finding negative b over 2a, like we did in class. I'm not going to go through that now. That's not part of this problem. What we want to know is when this area will be double. So if you double 3,456, you are going to get 6,912. They want to know when this will equal 6,912. So if you subtract the 6,912 over to the other side to set this thing equal to zero, most of you now are going to take this and you get negative 3,456 when you subtract 6,912 from this. Most of you now are going to take this and do the quadratic formula. In this section in the book, it was talking about solving by factoring. So guess what that tells me? That tells me that this thing will factor. It's not pretty, but you still probably can get the factors for this quicker than you can by doing the quadratic formula. But that's okay if some of you think that's quicker. It's going to be a positive and a negative because it's a negative 3,456. Then you just come over to your calculator and you start doing 3,456 divided by 2. 2 times that, that's not going to get me 120 in the middle. So then you try it again, 3,456 divided by maybe 4. And you keep going through these, 4 times 864. 4 and 864 are not going to get me 120 in the middle. So you keep going through this process, and I just kept on typing it in. As quick as I could type it in, I would look and see if the two factors would give me 120. And eventually, careful, eventually I got to divide it by 24, and when I divide it by 24, I got 144. So 144 times 24 gives me this, but they're also going to give me 120. If you do 144 in the positive, 24 in the negative, that will give you your 3,456, and will also give you 120 in the middle. So then, once you get these equal to zero like this, to solve by factoring, remember, set it equal to zero, set it equal to zero, and you get negative 44 and positive 24. So which one's got to be the answer on this one? Well, you're talking about extending the playground, so it has to be 24 feet. So what you would want to extend the playground by is 24 feet.